Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. The featured application for this episode is Desk Connect. It enables you to share files across platforms from your desktop to your iOS devices. Let's take a look. The first thing you want to do is download Desk Connect from the Mac App Store for your desktop. You then want to go to iTunes or your iPhone iPad and download Desk Connect for your iOS devices. Desk Connect has a lot of features. One thing you can do is share web browsers between devices. So for example, Desk Connect installs itself along the top menu of your computer. If you tap on that, you'll see that it gives me the option to send Mavericks and that particular website that I have set up to either my iPhone or iPad. So I'm just going to go ahead and send that to my iPhone. You can also share files between platforms. So for example, if I take this one file and drag it to the Desk Connect icon along the top, you see I have the option to add it to my phone or to my iPad. I'm going to add it to my iPhone once again. And let me go back to my phone and you can see I have another message waiting for me in Desk Connect. I open it up and you'll see that the photo is right there. You can also save files to your clipboard. So for example, if I select this PDF document here and just copy it, I then go up to Desk Connect. I don't have the option yet. What you have to do is first go to Preferences and then go to Sending and then make sure you select Show Clipboard in Menu. And with that selected, you now can see that I have the option to send the PDF that I selected or copied to my clipboard to my iPad, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm now going to go ahead and open Desk Connect on my iPad. And you can see that PDF was just sent to Desk Connect on the iPad. You can also send files from your iOS devices. So for example, if I was to take this photo that I have in Dropbox and send it to my computer and to my iPhone, I'll just select Share and then go to the open in category and then look for desk connect as an option. When you find it, select it and then it will then send that file to your iPhone and or to your computer. Let's go ahead and see if that file did indeed land on both devices. I'm now going to go ahead and open desk connect on my iPhone. And you can see that that photo of Bruce Lee is now on my iPhone. Now let's go back to the desktop. If I select Desk Connect on the desktop and go to Recent, you'll see that that Bruce Lee photo has also been sent to the desktop as well. You can also send websites from your iOS devices, and Desk Connect is going to walk you through the process. So you're going to go ahead by selecting Send Websites, and then it's going to ask you to connect to your other devices. So if you send to your MacBook Pro, if you happen to have one, or your iMac, it'll show up as a menu option, and then it'll walk you through the steps. First, it's going to ask you to just bookmark that page. And then when that's done, you click Next. And then it's going to ask you to go in and then edit that bookmark. So you go to Bookmarks and then click Edit. And then select the item that's there. And here, in this case, it's my MacBook Pro. You then select on the address, delete it, and then press and hold, and then paste the clipboard into the address area and then click done and it now shows up as a bookmark and you do the same thing for your other devices and when you're ready to share a web page to your other iOS devices or to your computer you select bookmarks and then select the platform that you want to use in this case I'm going to select the MacBook Pro and then just save that to my computer so now if I go up to Desk Connect you'll see now the most recent item is the Rikes Museum click that it opens a browser window and I now have quick access to that website. And as I mentioned, Desk Connect is available for iOS devices and the desktop, and you can download it in iTunes and the Mac App Store. Thanks for tuning in for this short episode of My Apple Podcast. My name is Tim Brown. Check me out next time.